One of the names of God is Al Musawir. He's the creator of the unique forms, the fashioner of everything, you know. I'm just, in my own way, worshipping that aspect of that part of creation. My name's Peter Sanders. I've been a professional photographer for over 50 years. You know, always as a child, I was like putting a frame around things with my fingers, like a flower or whatever it was. And I thought if you cut that out, it makes it look really beautiful. So it was kind of a natural thing for me to do. And then um, I managed to get a professional camera, you know, people like Bob Dylan and the Beatles. And so I started doing photography and I started photographing all those kind of people. Actually, I didn't photograph the Beatles, they were already too famous, you couldn't get to them, but everybody else I did. I always get asked that, you know, you used to photograph all these uh, rock icons and now you photograph the Islamic world. Now I'm more interested in very spiritual people, saintly people, you know, because I want to know how they're so calm and so peaceful and so contented even though they have nothing. And that for me is really, we live at the age of celebrity and selfies and all this thing. These people are just interested, they want to know God and they spend life in prayer and study and, and they have such serenity and calmness and contentment. Many of them have not been photographed before and, and so when I was taken to them, I was warned, you know, they, they don't like photography and so well, thanks for that, you know, how am I going to get to this point where, and one of them just said, you know, because they don't like to refuse people, he just said to me, don't ask, just do it. If you ask, I have to say no. So just don't ask, just do it, and then that's it, like the issue's settled, you know, and that's, that's how generous they are, even though they don't like photography. I think everywhere is a hidden treasure. It's, it, it really depends on how present you are. The more you become in your own zone, you are where you should be, and things happen. And we live at a time where everyone's missing it. They're so stressed out about work and life, and, on their phones, and watching TV, and listening to this, and just not present. And we have to get back to that. If we're gonna unite as a, as, a, as, as a community of people, if we're gonna change this world, look at what's going on in the world. It's unbelievable. Didn't, did we learn nothing in all this time since the killing of Cain and Abel? <laughs> was, we're still doing it on mass level? When you really think about it, it's just God's watching us like, <laughs> and he still loves us despite all this.